guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It is Shimache here today, and I thought that in celebration of Pride Month, I would do a bunch of makeup looks just based off of some pride flags. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's voiceover, Monique! So basically, I'm going to be using my voiceover clips to talk about the importance of pride and other stuff like that. This is just the regular old rainbow colors of the usual pride flag i just wanted to do a creative look with this and i hope you guys enjoy i time lapsed it so it wouldn't be a very long watch since i do have so many looks in this video enjoy all right and i have one eye done this is just the basic pride flag with all regular pride colors as seen here on my sweater i am going to be using other flags after this obviously but this is the first eye now i'm going to replicate that on my other and eye and my other eye is done i'm going to apply mascara and then concealer All right, and adding lip gloss to finish the look off and here you are this is just the madness pride flag that most people recognize when it is pride month now let's get into the other flags. I'm going to do the transgender flag. So first things first, I'm going to do a bit different of a look for this one than I did with the last one. And this time I'm going to start with eyeliner. Okay, so good news. I got the eyeliner on, bad news. It does not look silver at all on camera when it is supposed to be silver and it's supposed to represent the white in the flag. So I'm just going to add some white to my eyes. That way the white does get represented. So I did add the white, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm already so pale, but I am going to add blue right above the right in my crease, and then I'm going to add blush. And now I'm adding the blush on my face. Adding a lot of blush just because I really like blush, and especially this kind. Alright, and for the final touch, I'm going to be applying blue lip gloss. And there we have it, my trans makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's move on to the next one. I'm going to be doing the intersex flag. I'm going to be doing this one a little differently just because I don't think my eyes are fit to do the job of just the flag. Considering if you've ever seen the flag, it looks like this. And I want to put that on my face. So I'm actually going to do it in a form of blush. I was really confused about how to do this makeup look because I couldn't think of an eye look for it. I can think of one now, but I couldn't back then. So I just did the flag look on my cheeks. The inner six pride flags are on my cheeks as highlights. And now I'm just going to put clear lip gloss to add to the look. And there we go. Here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's move on to the next pride flag. My next look is the non-binary pride flag flag so i am going to do that look next i was really excited to do this look because of my intro specifically and also since i recently learned a lot about non-binary people i did the white and yellow on this eye so now i'm going to replicate that onto this eye i replicated that and now i'm going to do purple eyeliner and last but not least i will be adding the black in the flag by using black lip gloss and here is the finished look Hope you guys enjoyed and we are on to the next one all right and next on my list i will be doing the asexual flag one eye done and now i'm going to do that to the other eye now that i have my eyeshadow done i'm going to add highlighter to the inner corners of both my eyes i'm also going to add a bit of highlighter onto my nose to accentuate the fact that there is white now i'm going to add purple to my lower lash line last but not least i will be adding black eyeliner to complete the black in the flag and here is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll move on to the next one and now i'm going to be doing the bisexual pride flag bisexuality is often frowned upon because people tell bisexuals to either pick a side or that they're too greedy and they are one of the groups that are hated within their own community when I finished and now I'm going to do the next. Here is the bisexual pride flag look. And now I'm going to be moving on to the lesbian pride flag. For this makeup look, I made sure that everything incorporated the new lesbian flag in it. All right, so when I'm done, I'm going to do the other eye. I did the eyeshadow and then I am going to add some highlighter. All right, this is supposed to represent the white in the flag. And then I decided that since lesbians typically get misrepresented or over-sexualized in the media, I wanted to do um, 
it's here's for the bottom piece of the flag that's what i'm gonna do now with some eyeshadow colors <laughs> Here is the time lapse of me adding the pink tears to the first side of my face. So I'm just going to do another cut through on the other side. That way you can see the result after in a faster manner. I have one side of tears done and now I'm going to do the other side. And here is the completed look. Obviously, I know that every sexuality does get misrepresented in the media because unfortunately most sexualities are not written in a correct light. However, I notice this most often happens with lesbians, so I wanted to do a look that kind of represented the misrepresentation. Now I'm going to do the pansexual flag. I don't know why I just talk like that. I'm so sorry. Here is a time lapse of me fully covering my eyelids with pink eyeshadow to represent the pink in the pride flag of pansexual. Enjoy! Now that I finished my eyeshadow, I'm going to apply blue eyeliner. Eyeliner applied, and then I'm going to do yellow on the lower lash line. And here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next look. We are on to the final look, and I'm doing the gay pride flag for MLM, Men Who Love Men. Super excited to see this one. So I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow. Another time lapse of me applying a couple shades of teal to my eyelid to represent the gay pride flag. I have one eye done and now I'm moving on to the other eye. And then obviously I've only done the teal colors, which is the top half of the flag. I wanted to try something different for this look, but I'm honestly afraid that it's not going to turn out that good. However, I'm going to try to do it anyways. I wanted to make some very accentuate and... I can't say that word. I wanted to accentuate my face a lot by using the bottom pieces of the flag as contour. So, pray for me. <laughs> as I was applying the contour, I was super nervous this wasn't going to look good because I've never tried to do like harsh contour that was, you know, blue before. But honestly, I liked the result and I think it would look really cool if I did like some sort of supernatural look as well, not just for the pride flag, but I really liked it at the end. All right, my blue contour is done. This is obviously something that I usually wouldn't do with my makeup. However, I thought that since the gay pride flag is MLM, usually men have a more accentuated face. Obviously, my face is extremely round, so I wanted to show this with a more accentuated face, as well as the top of the flag, and... As the final color, I have a very dark blue, basically black lipstick that I wanted to use to finish off the look. All right, and here's the official finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and since it is Pride Month, I would like to remind you all that we wouldn't have Pride Month if it weren't for a black trans woman, so make sure that you give people of color a voice and make sure you give trans communities a voice because even in our own community, people can still send hate and that is absolutely not okay, especially when all we have is because of a black trans woman. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy birthday.